Ken Bone and the Cougars took it to Mark Few and the Zags from the opening tip tonight down in Pullman. D'Angelo Casto rejects Marquise Carter at one end, and Clay Thompson rewards him with the dunk at the other end. Cougs up 8-0 early. The Zags missed their first 10 shots and didn't score for over seven minutes until that Stephen Gray three. Gray with just seven points, though. Then the Cougs catch fire from downtown. Reggie Moore gets it going with the pull-up triple. Then Patrick Simon, the freshman from Efreda, drills one. WSU hit five of its first seven threes to build a 19-point lead. Gonzaga closes the half on an 18-5 run. Elias Harris with a layup in transition. It's 30-24 at the break, but Thompson just takes over in the second half. The lefty layup pushes the lead to 12. And then he goes right around Gray and Kelly Olenek on the baseline for the reverse. Cougs up by 16. Then watch this. Thompson rejects the Robert Sacre dunk attempt at one end, then drills a big three. Moments later, he scored 21 of his 24 in the the second half and added seven steals, six assists, and six rebounds. The Cougars crushed the Zags 81 59. It's their third win over GU in the last five years. The Zags fall to four and four for the first time ever under Mark Few. Ben Kaplan joins us now live from Pullman with more on tonight's big win for the Cougs. Ben. Yeah, Derek, the stat sheet heavily in favor of the Washington State Cougars after this one. A couple of stats that really jump out at you. They shot 67% in the second half. They shot 11 of 21 from three-point range for the game. You look at what they did on defense. They held Gonzaga to just 39% shooting. They forced 25 turnovers. After the game, the Cougs really happy with that defensive effort. The Zags not happy with much of anything. Uh, that's a big difference between uh, this year and last year. Um, we could score last year, but our defense a little shaky this year. I think we really saw defense. Defensively, leading the Pac-10 in, in uh, points allowed and field goal percentage, defense field goal percentage. So, if we keep doing that, we'll play with anybody and go have a great season. We got it handed to us tonight, and the Cougs deserve a lot of credit. They uh, were the aggressors from the tip, and and on offense and on defense. And I thought that was uh, the difference all night. It just seemed like they hit almost every shot, and it seemed like uh, you know everything that could go wrong did tonight. So. All right, Derek, it does not get any easier for Gonzaga. They travel to nationally ranked Notre Dame on Saturday. The Cougs, they're up at the Spokane Arena Friday night against Texas Pan American. We're live in Pullman. Ben Kaplan for KXLY4HD Sports.